Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of literature with books and voices. Today we delve into the fantastic universe of the British comedian-turned-author David Walliams, focusing on his popular children's novel, Gangster Granny. Walliams, once known for his comedic prowess, found a new calling in writing, charming the hearts of children and adults alike with his delightful and imaginative tales. His unique blend of humor and sentimentality has set him apart in the world of children's literature, making him a household name. Among his many successful titles, Gangster Granny stands out. This best-selling book has captivated millions of young readers worldwide, taking them on an extraordinary journey filled with surprises and valuable lessons. Let's dive into the world of Gangster Granny, a tale of unexpected adventures, hidden treasures, and the unbreakable bond between a boy and his seemingly ordinary granny. Imagine spending your Friday nights with your old granny who smells of cabbage, and all she wants to do is play Scrabble and eat cabbage soup. Sounds boring, right? But what if there's more to granny than meets the eye? Let's dive into the world of Gangster Granny, a thrilling tale by David Walliams. At the heart of the story we find our main characters, Ben and his seemingly ordinary granny. Ben, an 11-year-old boy, dreads his obligatory Friday night visits to his granny's house. He's convinced she's the most boring person in the world, with her affinity for Scrabble and Cabbage in all its forms. But as it turns out, Granny has a secret. An exciting double life as an international jewel thief. Yes, you heard it right, this cabbage-loving old lady is a notorious criminal, dubbed the Black Cat by the police. Ben stumbles upon this secret when he discovers a stash of dazzling jewels hidden in a biscuit tin. This revelation transforms Ben's dull Friday nights into thrilling planning sessions, as he and Granny hatch a daring plan to steal the crown jewels from the Tower of London. The plot thickens as they navigate the challenges that come their way, from evading the law to outsmarting the Queen's guard. In a fascinating turn of events, Granny and Ben find themselves bonding over their shared adventure, breaking the stereotype of the boring old Granny and the disinterested grandson. The story is filled with unexpected twists and turns, keeping you on the edge of your seat. However, don't worry, we won't spoil the ending for you. You'll have to delve into the pages of this captivating book to find out whether they succeed in their audacious heist or if they fall into the hands of the law. In Gangster Granny, Walliam spins a yarn of adventure and excitement, proving that you can't judge a book by its cover, or in this case a granny by her cabbage soup. Now that you've had a glimpse of Gangster Granny's world, you might be wondering, should I read this book? Well, allow me to share my thoughts. Gangster Granny, in my opinion, is a treasure trove of humor, excitement, and emotional depth. David Walliams has a knack for spinning tales that are compelling, goofy, and ultimately, heartwarming. The book is a roller coaster ride of laughter and tears, and it's hard not to be swept away by the charm and wit of its characters, particularly our feisty titular Granny. The humor in Gangster Granny is top notch. It's clever, it's unexpected, and it's guaranteed to have you chuckling, if not outright laughing. But the book isn't just about the laughs, it's also a thrilling adventure, filled with daring heists, high speed chases, and unexpected twists that will keep you on the edge of your seat. But perhaps most importantly, Gangster Granny is a story with a lot of heart. It explores the bond between a boy and his grandmother, and how this relationship evolves and deepens through their shared adventures. It's a beautiful depiction of family, friendship, and the unexpected places where we find love and connection. And don't worry about age restrictions. Gangster Granny is a book that transcends age boundaries. Its themes of adventure, family, and the power of unexpected friendships are universal, making it a perfect read for children and adults alike. Whether you're 8 or 80, there's something in this book for you. In conclusion, I highly recommend Gangster Granny. It's a funny, exciting and touching read that's sure to captivate your heart and tickle your funny bone, so why not give it a chance? You might find yourself surprised by how much you enjoy it. Gangster Granny is more than just a children's book. It's a heartwarming tale that reminds us that extraordinary stories often hide in the most ordinary places. So, why not give it a read? You might find yourself laughing, crying, and most importantly, thoroughly entertained. Until our next literary journey, happy reading.